Indy cuts it to three. You go on that 7-0 run on offense. Uh, just thinking about what you said before, the second half, the ankle got a little stiff when you returned the last time. I wondered how it felt this second half and how we were able to overcome that if it did down the stretch. Oh, much better. Uh, much better than it did. I think that was the Toronto game, the last game that I played. Um, you know, the ankle just felt a lot, uh, a lot more, more, a lot more mobility, a lot more movement. Uh, it was warm. Um, you know, a little, a tiny bit of soreness today, uh, right now as the game is over, which I expected it, but um, I, I didn't have a setback today, so that was, that was a damn, damn good job for myself and uh, for, my, for Mike Mancy and the medical team. Yeah, LeBron, it's so hard to replicate NBA basketball. You can't unless you're playing. So how important was today for you to just get out there, get a run in uh, with the playoffs fast approaching? You know, the funny thing is, it was uh, it actually threw me for a loop, too, because, uh, you know, I knew I wanted to kind of gear up and play uh, in tonight in tonight's game, which I actually thought was a night game. And then uh, yesterday we making a flight and they said we play tomorrow at one. So I was like, oh, man, uh, so I got to get going early. I got to get my engine revved up early. And I didn't know how the ankle was going to respond with it being a one o'clock uh, start. So which is actually 10 o'clock for us on the West Coast, but uh, responded very well. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited about uh, what tomorrow holds. All right, LeBron, and I'd be remiss not to just ask you about the Hall of Fame induction ceremony today. Uh, KG, Tim Duncan, and of course, Kobe Bryant. Uh, you guys got the chip for him last season. Just wanted to know where your head's at with what's going on and, and uh, everybody who's speaking later today. Uh, well, it's a celebration of greats, and uh, you just named three of them. Uh, one of them happened to be, uh, you know, a, a brother of ours uh, with the Laker organization, someone who uh, set the tone for this organization for 20 years, and, and Kobe. And, uh, you know, it's, it's an unbelievable time for uh, himself, um, looking down on all of the compliments that he had uh, for his wife and his daughters, uh, and for his daughter that's up there going to be watching along Kobe, alongside Kobe when they watch the enshrinement. So it was a beautiful thing to see uh, Vanessa, uh, you know, put the, uh, you know, put the, uh, the jacket on his daughter, on his elder. Uh, yesterday uh, beautiful thing and uh, you know it's a, it's a beautiful time for, for the Lakers you know like I said it's a celebration for another Laker great and uh, just happy to be a part of his legacy